What's going on? It's me, the Elite HB Live Action. You already know what it is. I'm here today to bring you another real world topic video, just as I promised on my Facebook fan page. Now, I also said on there, I feel this will be my best one. You may disagree or not, but this, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this will be my longest video. Now, before I get into this, of course, for all my new subscribers, my real world topic videos will not pertain anything video games, manga, or anime related. So, this video, okay, I will be cussing a lot in this video. So if you can't handle that, do not watch this video. I will be using a lot of sexual themes in this video. If you can't handle that, do not watch this video. If you feel you're too righteous and holy to be able to handle what I'm going to be talking about, then, that's right, say it with me, do not watch this video. Are we clear? All right, let's get into this motivator. Now, the topic of this video is going to be about females with a lot of male friends. Is that a red flag or not? Should it be a concern? Now, with this, now recently, my real world topic videos, they have been uh, sent to me as requests. And, you know, I've given advice. I give advice, <coughs> excuse me, in all my real world topic videos. But this one is just something I felt I wanted to discuss. And I'm also going to give uh, real life messed up Elite A stories to even back up and support the topic. Also, I'm going to be giving advice as well. But let's get into this. Now, there's two types of females with male friends. Okay, You have the single female with a lot of male friends. Then you have the female that's in a relationship with a lot of male friends. Let's start off with the single female first. Now, of course, she's single for a reason. But ladies, one thing you need to understand, when you're single, it's these three things I came up with. You know, you can't get a man, you can't keep a man, and you don't want a man. Now, naturally, a lot of you females, you start to pop your neck and swing your wrist. Oh, I can get a man. Okay, that's fine. Of course, look what's in between your legs. You have the most powerful weapon against men. Exactly. So you can get a man, but can you keep one? Can you maintain and build a solid foundation to make a positive relationship work? I don't know. Some of you can, some of you can't. That's a whole nother video. So anyway, I come across this female, you know, recently. Very nice, right up my alley, etc. And naturally, I couldn't help notice she has a lot of male friends. Plus, it was to be expected. When you have a female that's uh, just, you know, into a whole bunch of cool type of things, you know, they tend to attract a lot of uh, male attention. Or rather, she went on to get that male attention. But... You know, I remember I asked her, I said, hmm, I was like, I'm pretty sure your male friends hit on you all the time or try to get at you or flirt with you. She said no. So I'm like, I said, so so none of them, none of them try to get at you. She was like, no. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, she's probably lying or something is up. So I went down a list. I put out a full list of so many possible negatives you know, that seemed like it's a catch to her because it seemed like it was a catch. I was like, so are you this? Are you that? Are you that? Are they, I even named some mental conditions. She said no to every single one of them. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, it's something else. So I'm like, all right, maybe her female friends, I mean, her male friends don't find her attractive, which is a shocker to me. And maybe she doesn't find them attractive. That could be the case. But when a female has a lot of male friends, especially when they're single, it paints this image, right? It makes you wonder, like, hmm, is she, uh, is she a freak? Is she a hoe or whatnot? What the hell is she? Maybe she just has that good vibe to attract males. Or maybe she looks so good she attracts a lot of males and she just tell them, look, I'm not in a relationship, but we can still be friends. But I asked this girl, I said, are you, are you, looking to be in a relationship she says she doesn't mind so i'm thinking hmm something's up so i'm guessing you know maybe that's just it it's that her friends are not into her like that so i'm like oh, okay but here's the all here's some of the things um you should look out for uh fellas when they have a lot of male friends females they use the term friend as a fucking cover-up yes they can still have an ex or somebody they used to fuck, but they use that word friend as a bullshit cover-up. And I'm going to tell you this right now. With the single female who has a lot of male friends, okay, if they are willing to get into relationships, maybe it's true. Maybe they haven't just come across the right one. But I 
guess it shows for them they really want to make that connection with someone. They just don't want to be with someone who they have the same, you know, interest in. Because apparently her male friends and her, they have the same interest, but nothing just clicks or whatever. But whatever. Now, with the female that is in a relationship, okay, that has a lot of male friends, that right there, I'm telling you. The advice, some of the advice I'm going to give is this right here. Fellas, do your research. If you have a girl, all right, or if you're dating a girl and you're, you know, wanting to make that move to make it official, do your fucking backstory, your origin story on her and the relationship of this friend. Because one of the tragic, fucked up, real life Elite A stories was uh, my ex, okay? She had too many male, too many male friends. She knew I didn't like it. You know, I trimmed a lot of that shit because I found out some of the guys she was still chatting with, she fucked before. And I'm like, are, are you fucking serious? Like, hell no. Like, no, no I, especially on Facebook, um, even when she'd be out chilling or whatnot after class, I cut that shit off so quick. So there came, there came a time when she didn't have nowhere else to go. Nowhere. And who took her in? Me. Being the good boyfriend, you know, I took her in. And keep in mind, she didn't have shit. No money, no job, no phone, no car, nothing. I took her in, okay? And of course, she fucked up everything. Cheated on me with her friend and his friend. Yeah, all in the same fucking night. With that shit right there, yeah, I, I know. Y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea how pissed the fuck off I was. But you know what? It was her loss and her gain. I mean, her. it was her loss and uh, another woman's gain because one thing she didn't realize, she did not realize how much her life was in jeopardy. I'm going to tell you this. I told her, your life is in my hands. Like, what do you think this is? Like, you have nothing. I could put you out like that. You're not my child. You're not my wife. You're just my girlfriend. You want to fuck up like this? So it came down to it. Ended up kicking her ass out. Naturally, she begging, pleading, pleading, you know, crying and whatnot. Chris, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, you can't redeem yourself from that. You can't. And I found out uh, by hard interrogation and through Facebook. She was just so stupid trying to be slick with the whole matter on how to, um, trying to be slick with everything. But with her doing whole activities like that and being stupid, that's what you really call a dumb hoe. And... I hate that feeling because it's like, damn, I thought she was the one. Go figure. But that's females for you, you know. And there's no reason why I say what I say when I said in my recent Bleach video, these fucked up ass females. When I said, you know, when I say hollow ass females. When I say these females with a lost soul. I, I swear like 98% of females are just all fucked up in my book but that's the thing you know there are some good females out there there are some righteous ones you know some good ones some positive ones some right ones but it's so rare so anyway back to the whole uh thing with her you know oh as far as him the way i went about handling that situation i'll put it like this i won't say on camera how i handled the situation as far as the guy go but uh so anyway her, she ends up calling me, no, texting me weeks later, you know, saying, oh, I'm sorry, um, um, you don't deserve me. And, and so I said, you know what, maybe you should just uh, go to him. I'm like, you know, she said, oh, I can't. He still stays at home. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, does he even want you to stay with him? No, I'm like, oh. So but basically I found out, you know, was I thought, I, actually in the end it was funny. It was funny because... This guy, no job, no money, he's a fucking weed head, stays at home, has nothing. So I'm like, you fucked up something good for that. So it was actually kind of funny because, you know, it's your fuck up. And on top of that, um, one time I did a bleach review and she was here. Yes. You know, she was just right here. Asked, I read one of her little novels. And, you know, prior to that, we got into an argument and, you know, sorry. And it's like. I was doing my best to maintain my composure, you know, on camera, cause, uh, but anyway, fellas, when a female say friend, 
like I said, investigate that shit because I'm going to tell you this also. Back at my old job, this one female, okay? I worked with her. Her friend would come up there, you know, and get something to eat, chill, come pick her up. That's how it goes a lot of times. And they'll see me and they'll say, oh, who is that? He's cute, he's handsome, he's gorgeous, what's his name, whatever. We exchange numbers. We end up going on a date. Our first date, we end up going on our first date. We went out to eat. It was getting late. She didn't want to go home. She wanted to come back to my spot. We come back here, you know, and naturally we're just sitting, chilling. She started some shit. I finished it. Yes, we banged it out, of course. And she was saying, like a lot of females say, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Or you suck. You made me do this. I'm like, hey, I didn't make you do anything. You started it. But I finished it. But what happened? Days and weeks later, she started to see, you know, kind of distant standoffish, you know, every now and then she'd say, I'm sorry, I'm with my friends, sorry, I'm talking to my friends. So I'm like, huh, okay, that's fine. You know, she's not my girl, so I'm not sweating like that. And like I said, I wasn't constantly chasing her because I don't chase after these hollow ass females, like I said in my last video. So, one time on Facebook, now I'm not friends with her no more on Facebook. One time on Facebook, it says she's not in a relationship. I'm like... I'm like, really? So it comes down to it. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was curious. I clicked on the name of the guy. And apparently this was her so-called friend that she was talking to and hanging out. It was really her ex. They, I guess they were passing things up and now they're together. But the interesting thing is, excuse me, this guy, he is a big, big Bleach fan because his profile pic is a Bleach character. Now, I'm not going to say which character it is because that will be a dead giveaway. Now, I'm not saying it's funny because his profile pic is a Bleach character. Because, you know, everybody know I'm Bleach till I die. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, when your profile pic is the pic of a fictional character, that shows you're a big fan of the series. So, since he's a big fan of the series, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. You know, I'm almost at 5,000 subs. I'm guessing he's probably seen some of my reviews or my Bleach discusses and have heard of me. So the ironic thing is, he's like, damn, the Elite Ace bang my ex-girl. It can be a small world like that. There's four other reviewers that's from the same city as me that live in the same city. It's a small fucking world out here. But anyway, he, so he find out, damn, the Elite Ace bang my ex. Now, of course, he probably wouldn't, you know, he's probably not tripping out over it when I, if he knows because he's like, okay, she was my ex at the time. But he probably will feel sorry like, damn, you trying to pass this up and rekindle things and, you know, hmm. Now he's probably wondering, like, damn, was he, was she still banging while we trying to pass things up? But now that they are together, guess what? She would still continue to text me, call, chat, whatnot. One time she came up to the job to visit her friend, trying to come back into the kitchen, give me hugs and whatnot. And that's my thing. If I was out in public and I ran into both of them and she see me, hey, how you doing? What would she say, y'all? What she said to her boyfriend? Oh, hey, this is my friend Chris. You think she ought to say, oh, hey, baby, this is the guy who had my face in the pillow, my ass in the air. You, you, you think she would say that? No. So, fellas, when these chicks say, oh, this is just my friend Andrew, this is just my friend Daryl, this is just my friend Akeem, this is my friend Antoine, it's, it, really investigate that shit. Now, I'm not saying every female is doing everything with every single male friend she has. No. But, you know, for some people... For some guys, they have to think like, okay, first was too many male uh, friends. Like, is it, you know, if it's more than what you can count, then they, if it's more than what's on your hands, some say that's too many. Some say 13 is too many. Some say 6 is too many, 7, whatever. But then you also have to chop it up and crop it into different categories. The type of friends, you know, where did they meet, how often do they hang out, or do they just talk over the internet. But even within, see, I'm very territorial. For me, it's not an insecure thing. A lot of other guys can't be insecure. For me, it's a territorial thing, and I don't like to be lied to. My past relationships, I've been fucked over so many times. I do not like being lied to. I'm not for no games. The only games I play are the ones right here. So, for me, it's a suspicious suspect kind of thing because everybody lies. You know how they say don't trust no one? I really don't trust these hollow-ass females, but at the same time, you can't trust some of these guys either because the next guy, he don't give a fuck either. Like, my ex... Her, her so-called friend, he knew we were together. He knew it. He didn't give a fuck, though. That's just how I go. But, like I said, I handled that shit. And uh, So, anyway, back to the chick um, with the Bleach fan boyfriend. You know, that's, that's just my thing right there. She wouldn't, she, you know she wouldn't say, oh, yeah, this is just um, the guy I used to have sex with. Yeah, you know, because he'd be thinking like, hmm, okay, then he'd probably ask her. Are you still chatting with this guy or whatnot? Say if he was to go through her phone. 
Or say if we were still friends on Facebook and he did a full blown big ass interrogation. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Or going through her phone. Who is this? She would just say, oh, he's just a friend. He's just a friend. Also, on other flip side, how guys, how I've also been on the other side where I've been cut off because the guy didn't want the chick talking to me. Now, there's a time again, one of my other female co-workers, her friend came up there, see me, wanted to exchange numbers. We exchanged numbers. Everything is cool. I set it up to where I was going to have her come over here. Everything was going to be real cool. And then what happened? She just ended up being MIA. I'm like, damn, what the hell? So I didn't chase after her. I seen her friend at work. I said, damn, what's up with your home girl? Like she just, like she just went missing. And she said, I know, I'm so disappointed in her. And I said, oh, so you know something I don't? And know what she told me? She said, and she hooked back up with her boyfriend. And she said her boyfriend went through her Facebook friend list and was like, who is that, who is that? No, get rid of them. Basically, depending on her answer in the background story, he will let her still stay in contact with the guy. So I guess she said, oh, this guy, I met him at so-and-so's job. You know, that's so-and-so's co-worker. And, we, and so he was probably, oh, nope, that shit getting nicked in the butt. Now, in a, in a, in a, in a, can't really get mad because I know me, I start, tr I, I've trimmed some shit also. And I'm not saying, you know, if I get into a relationship, I'm going to tell the girl, you can't have no male friends at all. I'm not saying that. However, eventually, depending on the group or amount of male friends you have or the type of relationship they used to have, I'm going to start trimming that shit. I really am. I don't play that shit. Are you whispering in her ear and, and tickling her and holding her hands and coming up behind her, tickling her or wanting to come over at late times of the night, her going over there at late times of the night. Fuck that. Uh, texting and calling late. No. Like I said, I'm territorial. I don't play. And a lot of times, people take my kindness for weakness because I'm humble and soft-spoken, but I'm only human. Damn it, I can get mad. And at the same time, we all have a past, our normal, our nature. And with my previous girlfriend, you know, she thought I was for some gang. She was from some loser-ass city. She wasn't from Detroit. She was from some loser-ass city. When shit need to pop off, don't shit jump off. So I'm like, okay, you think I'm for some gang? Your ass is out. I don't know where the fuck she is. Now, out of respect, I called her mother. I did say, okay, Miss So-and-so, I'm here to put your daughter out. She's fucking up. Okay, now, I didn't say fucking up, but she did fuck up. So, I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's alive, dead, missing, am I? I don't know. I don't give a fuck anymore. Also, my other friend, she's married. Guess what? Her husband did not like her talking to no other guys. The ones she had already, he was like, okay, fine, you can keep them. But the new ones, no. And one time she called me crying. I thought this this was kind of flattering, a little bit sad. You know, I was kind of shocked and surprised. She was crying saying, you know, I can't stop talking to you. You know, you're such a nice guy. You're such a stand-up guy. You're cool. You're this, you're that. I love your company, this and that. And she just couldn't do it. So you think she would tell her husband and she still be trying to chat with me? You think the other chick with the bleach boyfriend, you think she would tell him, oh, yeah, this is Chris. We used to do this now. Hell no. Matter of fact, in one last story, or one last scenario, the other chick I used to know, we used to bang it out. Guess what? One time she told me, okay, she has a boyfriend. I hooked back up with her ex. I'm like, okay, whatever, that's fine. And then she was trying to still continue to talk with me and chat. I'm thinking in my head, you know good and damn well, you, I, you are not, you are not uh, let your uh, boyfriend find out about that. You wouldn't. And you would disguise that shit as a friend. Another thing, fellas, you, uh, you should watch is when... This will kill me, too. When these females give these fake family titles to these guys. Oh, this is my cousin. No, no it's not really her cousin. But he, she just call him her cousin. And, uh, or this is my brother. No, it's not your brother. But you just call him that. That shit, I don't, I, I don't uh, buy into. I don't trust. So it can be a thing. It could be something to be concerned about or not. But as far as the ones who... Like, want to uh, come over to probably play a game, or she go over there to play a game. Motivator, it's called Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and Meverse. Ain't no, nah, nah, nah. Nah, this one chick I know, she did say this. It was very admirable, and it was just mind-blowing, you know. She told me, she said, out of respect for our future relationship, she said she'll be willing to not hang out or talk to any of her male friends. I was just shocked, like, damn. I'm like, really? And it, it showed how much she really cared and valued our future relationship. But like I said, 
I'm not that much of a hard ass to where I'm like, you can't have no fucking male friends. I'm not like that. But it's good to know that shit if you're willing to do that. But I told her, okay, you know, to be fair, you know, I'm not saying you have to drop them all, but I'm pretty sure when I meet them, you know, if I meet them, I'm probably not going to like every single one of them. Or if I find out any of them were your fucking exes or somebody you used to uh, date or somebody you used to fuck, you can just nip that shit in the bud right now. And that's for real. So that's what I have to say about that. Oh, and another thing. Um, females who are single and have a lot of male friends and you want to be with them, the, the advice I can give fellas about that look into it pick her brain do your research and whatnot because they can they really use that friendship as a cover-up like i said i've been on all ends of the rope with that both ends of the rope i've been the guy who's been fucked over with my girl saying oh this is my friend and she do something with him i've been the guy who's been cut off because her boyfriend didn't want her want her talking to me i've been the guy who's still friends with the chick but she's keeping it a secret because her boyfriend all scenarios i've been there so, you know, it can be tricky. It can be tricky. It just brings up a lot of suspicion and concern. But if it's just, sometimes you can't tell and see and just feel that, okay, it's just a regular friendship. But if you see that fishy, fishy business, all that um, constant private hanging out or, or certain scenarios, like, like, for example, even if it's not what it is, it's just how it looks. She's with her friend. She's not answering the phone. She's not responding to the texts, et cetera. And it's been like that for 15 minutes to 30 to 45 to an hour. And they can use the possible excuses. Oh, my phone was on vibrate. Or I didn't hear a ring. My phone died. They use all that bullshit. Why? I've seen that shit happen when the chick was with me. I've seen it happen. Yeah, so that's why it's kind of like, mm, that's why trust is a big thing in a relationship. But if you're a guy who can't handle that, I suggest just keep her a friend and just be like, damn, I want to be with her, but I can't really trust this bitch. You know, I, that's just how I be. So that's my whole thing about it. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I remember one of my exes tried to have one of her friends come over here when I wasn't here. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I should have let that shit play out because it would have been the perfect opportunity for me to test out my Zompato for real. But uh, when I when I when I caught her with that, uh, oh yeah, her her ass had tears when it died her face for real. She had some tears when it died her face. But uh, let's see. Yeah, just do your origin story. Oh yeah, another thing that that you can look into. <laughs> that some don't make sense. Some of this, some of this don't make sense. I have females say, oh, I have this amount of male friends, but they have more on their Facebook friends list or in uh, Instagram or any other social network site. And some will say, okay, that doesn't mean anything, but some inappropriate shit can still go down over Facebook or whatnot. Exchange of pictures, text, uh, messaging, all that type of shit. It all, but you know what? Some females are not technologically smart. They be, they be kind of stupid when it comes to that. That's how I caught my last chick up. Facebook tells more information than what you think in activity. If you really know how to use that shit, you can catch somebody up. But anyway, that's, uh, that's another thing to look into. And of course, as far as her friends on her friends list, her male friends on her friends list, some guys look at where he's from, what city he lives in. If damn near all of her male friends in her Facebook friend list is in the same city as her, and she claimed, oh, I only got 12 friends or 11 friends, but she got like 86 of the motivators on here. It's kind of like, damn, are you just accepting strangers just to accept? Or are you just accepting to do a little flirting? Or he's showing you pictures, you showing him pictures. It's a whole bunch of inappropriate things. But, that's you, that. But, it comes down to it all. Um, all in all, a chick with a lot of female friends who's single go into it being very cautious, okay? Do your origin story with her and the male friends. Get some answers and whatnot. Get some closure. And for the ones, if you, and fellas, for your girlfriends, all right, really check that shit out because um, shit can be very fishy. Give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. It's me, the Elite Ace. Thanks for watching this video. I'm signing out.